Greetings and salutations, you two wanderer. The Lost One Gamer here, and welcome to Frostpunk, a city building society survival game where I am ruler of the last of humanity, pretty much in a frozen overworld. So, I can tell this is probably gonna go bad, but let's jump into this, shall we? Alright, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. There was a cutscene before this, but it was very glitchy for some reason, and the audio was really bad, so I bothered not to uh, probably put it in there at all. I just kind of skipped it. But I guess this is the generator that we were talking about. Alright, we need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. How do I do that? <laughs> Stockpile some coal. We have 80 homeless people. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Tutorial summary. Alright, you can move the camera with your... I'm definitely going to need this, but uh, I don't need that part. I, didn't... I don't need to know about the controls. I mean, I can, I can handle that pretty well. Can I pause it all? It's negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, because I did change it to Fahrenheit, because I don't do Celsius at all, because America. <laughs> Mer do we have a coal generator or anything of that nature, or do I have to build everything? I guess we only have the generator at the moment, so I guess that's probably... Like, it seems like none of this is, like, active, or I don't even know what it is. Alright, let's go ahead and start constructing things, then. We can make tents, uh, resources. Let's see, we gotta find... Gathering post. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles. Okay, so there's coal piles. We can put one here. Uh, invalid locate. What? Building here will block place for important facility. Not adjacent to a street. What the frick do you mean not adjacent to a street? Do we only have certain level of streets right now? There are no streets here. <laughs> there are no streets. I guess I have to put it here. Alright, let's try it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they're everybody's going to work now. I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on. There's uh, currently no discontent, but there is barely any hope. <laughs> I don't think the people are very confident in my abilities, and neither am I, so I don't really blame them at this point. So I guess we're going to have to wait for this to build, and maybe they'll go over and get some of these coal. I'm assuming these are the coal piles that it speaks of. Yes, they are. Uh, can we send workers over there now? I mean, or did I, have to, did I not have to build this at all? I may have wasted that. I don't exactly, let's see, we have 15 wood, 5 steel, 1 steam core, and what is this, work time, people on normal work shifts go to work, I mean, I would assume so, right, it's the freaking first day, I'm already like, do we not have any food at all either, oh god, we're gonna be in a pickle, aren't we, <laughs> we're going to be in a serious pickle, discontent is already growing in the ranks, and I'm already, let's see, let's, let's send some workers over here, alright, we're gonna send... Five of our available workers. Alright. They're now off into the snow. I can see them moving now. They're drudging their way through. They are very confident and determined people. Alright. Nothing bad will happen to them. So the gathering post is currently inoperative. Uh, I guess we can... I guess this is where we stockpile? No, this is a stockpile. So currently we have like five coal and we're getting 60 a day. So I definitely want to work on resources, I guess. Is there... there was a, it said something about... Uh, not food, but what? Where do we get the food? Hunters based here. We need base heating level two. How do we do that? Do we need to do? Oh, for it. Trying to see base level, steam level twos. We need not research yet. Twelve coal to turn on this steam level. Why would I ever turn it off? <laughs> I mean, I don't think that would be the right move considering we're all freezing to death. Let's see. I guess we don't have enough right now. Gener oh, there we go. The generator's on now. Should I not have done that? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. Hold on. We're shutting down the generator. <laughs> that probably wasn't the right move. We need some more coal. It did say we needed uh, 200 coal before we started it up. So, uh, I'm sorry, guys. You got a little bit of heat for a second. There was a glimmer of hope, and I'm sorry, but I had to take it away. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. We have a book of laws? Ooh, look at this. Find ways to battle the hunter. Ad adaptation. What is all this? Radical treatment, sustain life, cemetery corpse disposal. Oh, so we can make decisions here. Sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputation with radical treatment. 
Radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. Uh, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. But in this one, discontent is also going to rise slightly. And the gravely ill will be kept alive but untreated in medical posts. I mean, how did... Mm, I don't know. Do I have... I don't, do I, I don't have to make this decision right now, do I? I just kind of threw myself into this, and I probably didn't even have to. I'm not even going to do it right now. We're not even going to bother. <laughs> We're not going to bother. Forget the laws. We're just trying to get set up at this point. <laughs> we can't. We can't focus on laws. The, I thought the generator had already shut down. How long does it take for the generator to shut off? Because it's still on. I'm looking at all the people huddled around here at this point. What else can I build, by the way? I should probably... Uh, I still need base heating level 2 for a cookhouse. Hunter's hut. I can't build any of this either. Could I build a, a thinly insulated shelter for 10 people? We currently don't have any housing right now, so I guess that would probably be a good idea. Although it costs 10 wood, which we only have 15 at the moment. So... The question is, if I spend all the wood right now, like, do we, or would we be able to get any more? Alright, the generator's now currently down. It finally shut off completely. That's great. <laughs> That's great. I probably shouldn't have even built this place. Can I tear things down and get, like, wood back or something? Is that possible? I don't know if it is. Requires at least one worker, no gatherable resources. Let's uh, let's assign like five people. We have 40 people available after that. I don't think I need to assign any engineers at the moment, so we'll we'll keep that there. We currently have 28 out of the 200 required coal, so we're uh, we still need more coal. <laughs> I guess maybe I should assign more people to this. Possibly, I could assign like 10 people. I mean, let's do 10. So that gives me what 12. It says 12 an hour per hour. So I guess I could probably speed through this some because there's really, there's really nothing else that I could really do at the moment. I mean, I could put up some, like, how are we looking in terms? What are we gathering exactly? It says it's inoperative. We need base heating level one, so we still can't do it. Maybe I should just, I should just put everybody on the coal fields. Or what the frick is happening? What has happened here? No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'll, we better do something about it. I'll provide some shelter. Uh, you have two days pro to provide shelter for 40 people. I won't address this right now. I'll provide shelter for everyone. Listen, uh, that's not going to happen because we don't have wood because we need to get the generator running. Listen, all right? We got to get our priorities straight and... Uh, I'm not addressing that. Discontent can freaking rise at this point because I can't build houses for everybody at this point. I don't have enough. I just don't. That's just, that's, that's reality. All right. We have to face the reality and the gravity of the situation, which at this point, we literally do not have enough for jack squat. <laughs> we don't have enough for anything. We can build like one house, right? And that's about it because now we're out of wood. All right. So some people are going to get housed and the rest of you are going to have to sit outside near your fires and just deal with it at this point. Just deal with it. I still don't know why I can't get this no gatherable resources in range. Why? It, so is this even useful at all? It's, it's just inoperative. There's no one. I mean, why is it here? Can I just tear it down? Dismantle will give me 12 wood and 4 steel. I mean, I... But I feel like... I mean... I don't know. I, I feel like I need it. <laughs> I feel like I need it, and I shouldn't because it was already there. So why tear it down? But then I let's see. What is this right here? This is a just this is just a regular tent. So that would provide me with housing for. Hmm. I don't know. Like I if if there's no resources in range, then it's kind of just wasted space at this point. And so therefore, I should just get rid of it, right? I'm gonna dismantle it. All right. I'm sorry, but, I mean, decisions had to be made. <laughs> Let's see, what are we talking about here? The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree uh, to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. All right. So, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to fix the problems, but, you know, things things happen. <laughs> things happen. It seems, seems like, what what now? God dang it. The heating is off. I'm aware of that. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. I'm sorry, but we need to gather some coal first. Alright. Emergency shift. We can do that. 
You can force uh, workers in any facility to work uh, for the next 24 hours. Discon I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, nope, I won't have any more discontent. What's going on here? Are we still dismantling? Okay, we've dismantled that. So let me go. Let me get some more housing going now that I can actually do something now. Let's do that. All right. Can I build a sawmill? How do I do that? I want to see that. Build a street. Oh, this is how I build the streets. Oh, that's interesting. Can I build a street out here, possibly? I'm trying to see how this works. <laughs> how much does it cost me to build a street, though, is the question. Like, does it cost anything at all? Or, like... It doesn't say, like, really, to be honest. I guess it, like... it's. Uh, oh, I think it extends out in a circle-ish thing. Kind of, like, straight out. So I guess I'd have to go to here. And then... I, I don't think that worked at all <laughs> I don't think that worked at all I'm not really sure what to do we still have 70 homeless people boy oh boy oh boy the economy we got coal piles yeah 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 all right <laughs> I'm still trying to work on this right now I guess I could send how many people do we have there wait didn't we send people out to one of these coal piles oh it's this one over here that we sent people to let's go ahead and send uh, five more people so we can go ahead and max that one out we'll go ahead and send some people I should probably, let's see, wood crates. Does this give me wood? Workforce will extract wood from the wood. Oh, I should be doing this. All right, this this is, yeah. Let's send everybody that we got over here to, all right, to get the wood crates. So I'm glad they give me at least some resources so I don't have to worry about that crap right off the bat. Uh, illness and health care, uh-oh, we got one gravely sick. This is already becoming an issue. They're trying to force me to make laws right now, and I don't think I can. Cold homes or workplaces will cause people to get sick. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in medical posts, but the gravely ill need an infirmary to be treated. Until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. The radical treatment law allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left as amputees. The sustained life allows you to keep the gravely ill alive but untreated. I kind of saw that. But, I mean, does it... To be honest, the, the thing is... Is, is it really worth it to sign either because radical treatment they're gonna be they're gonna be treated and kept alive technically but just as amputees but the sustained life it just they're untreated how are you sustaining life if you're not treating them but we're keeping them alive and do the amputation do the amputees get like some form of like prosthetics or something I they're, they're making me make a decision that I'm not fully informed on, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to get any more informed on it as the thing goes by. I I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think maybe we do radical treatment. I mean, but if they if I do radical treatment, they're going to get sick and die anyway. I'm doing radical treatment. All right, that, that's the... We're just going to have a bunch of amputees running around with stubs at this point. I'm sorry. That's just... <laughs> I, I want to keep them alive, all right? We'll do, we're going to do, uh, let's see, bat, uh, radical treatment. I'm signing it. Discontent's going to rise one way or the other, and hope will rise as well. So I'm signing it, all right? This is what we're doing. Gravely ill will be treated in medical post despite the risk of them being left as amputees. At least we'll be saving lives, says Edith. That's true. I hope they won't cut off my leg if I fall ill. Well, I mean, if you fall ill, I don't think that's really what we should do, but, you know, at this point, I don't really have a choice. 18 of our people died. Okay, we gotta turn on the generator. We gotta turn on the generator. Uh, first death, uh, one of our people, no, 18 of our people just died. It's more than, it's more than that. Uh, one of our people just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold. We need to find a way to dispose of the bodies. People can take care of it themselves. Uh, corpse disposal. We'll keep dead bodies out of the heat zone and cover them with snow. The cold will halt their decay. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. Is that meaning, like, we're gonna possibly, like, burn them or something? Each barrel will keep some people from work for a few hours. Hope will rise. No risk of diseases. And then we get cemeteries. I like cemeteries rather than the corpse disposal. I don't like the thought of just bodies lying around in freaking snow pits. So, I have to wait, apparently, to sign the laws. So, apparently, we're just gonna have to sit here with the bodies around. Uh, so, uh, that might be a thing. Alright, so, I gotta get the generator running. I have to. 
I have no choice but to at least run it for right now. Hope is falling and uh, things, we mustn't let this happen again. Yeah, I'm aware. We mustn't let this happen again. Alright, so the discontent is rising and the hope is very low. We have 42 homeless and 3 very sick people. <sighs> How much coal are we using right now? I, this, that's the thing, like we're not getting enough coal for this at the moment. Do we even have enough people to send out anymore? I don't even, we gotta get as much coal as we possibly can right now. That, that's the focus. We have 20, we, we're down to 23 coal, 22. Hope is rising, I guess, a little bit the longer that I keep it going. But at the same time, we really don't, like, we really don't have any way of running this place efficiently. It's just, we're already pretty much, just already in a bad spot. That's all I can say at this point. We've got some wood coming in, but uh, things are not looking too well. <laughs> things are not looking good at all. What is this? This is a wood. This is another wood crate. I only have one worker. Can I send an engineer in place of a worker, possibly? Does that do anything? I think they work a little bit. I think what it is, they work a little bit slower than everybody else. I don't know. I'm gonna have to shut down the the generator again. Yep. We don't have enough coal for this. I'm sorry. My All my people are going to die. That's literally going to be the thing. Everybody's going to die. Food and shelter aren't enough. We have no future. Well, I'm sorry. Work, 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 work nothing but work. I mean, what, 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 what do you want me to do is the thing. What do you want me to do? I can't run the generator because we don't have coal. <laughs> and I can't get coal because the people are dying because we can't run the generator. So what the frick am I expected to do at this point? I think maybe I have to specifically time the generator for when it's like colder or something of that nature. I mean, everybody's dying at this point. Like, how many people do we even have anymore? Like, is there a way to see the economy? Uh, there's gotta be a way I can see how many people. Temperature will rise one level. Temperature will drop significantly by day, like the midway through day five. Ah, this is not good at all, not good at all. We have 12 coal left. We're still not freaking in a position of collecting much of anything. Yes, get back to work because we need it. What is this? Unemployed, prohibited. We mean prohibited, 11, oh, there's 11 children. Four idle engineers, one idle worker total. Oh, this is like a kind of like an overview of things. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send my last worker out to the coal pile. That way we can get some more coal. It says 16 per hour. Okay, there we go. We're, now we're working again. Okay, good. Alright, thank goodness. We're getting some freaking stuff now. We maybe can start up the generator again. It said 200. I mean, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I haven't done that the entire time. Alright, the generator is now like pretty much completely done for. But we have half of the coal required. The heating is now off. Generator has been down so long that the heat level is falling to zero. All heat zones are off, and the building that required them are inoperative. All right, let's start it up again. We'll get it back to steam level one. All right, we gotta get this going. Okay, we'll run it as long as we can. We're getting enough coal though, actually, so we're good. Actually, food. The generator hums with reassuring, uh, reassuring. I don't know what reassuring is. Reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay, so now that we have the coal here, we need to uh, we need to secure a raw food supply. So that means we need to build like some form. How do I get the uh? How do I get this lack of shelter. Oh, I guess if I build some more houses and things, that'll help. Okay, so now we can build a hunter's hut. But that says it requires base heating level 2. Does it really matter? I mean, cost 20 wood. We currently have 54. So, beyond the city to track, they provide up to 15 raw food per day. Okay. So, I guess we'll have to build one of these on the street. And I'm also going to go ahead and build up a... Uh, should we build up the houses first? Or should we... Let's Let's do... We'll build up one house, unit of housing. And then we'll do also a... I can't do the medical post because we don't have enough wood. All right, so what we're doing? I actually don't have anybody to build this now that I think about it. So uh, let's see how are we looking on coal reserves. That's what I really need to keep an eye on. We have 229 right now at the moment. I don't know if anybody's actually building these things right now. I don't think they are at all. 
I'm gonna like half my production real quick. I think if I can possibly do that. Uh, we're gonna half this, all right? So we're gonna bring that down to seven, and then we're gonna bring, I don't have people, oh, I do have people over there. I'm gonna bring this one down to seven too. So we're gonna half our production there, all right? And then as soon as we get done with that building and stuff, we'll come back, right back to what we were doing, all right? But the question is like, what happens when we run out of coal? Like, do we get to expand any further? Cause I mean, these coal piles are eventually gonna run out. And that's the question, you know, what happens when they do? Like, I don't know exactly. There's got to be a way. I think maybe you can, like, eventually expand and re uh, extend our storage capacity. There's got to be something new eventually, right? I don't know if hope is growing or whether it's, like, bad. Are the bodies still in the streets? They are. I, it said I could build a cemetery, right? Where is that at? At least I thought it did. Maybe we can't build it yet. That's unfortunate. Build streets, dismantle street, dismantle the building. I thought I could build a freaking cemetery. A workshop. Lab equipped with everything an engineer needs to develop designs for various buildings technologies. So do I need the workshop to be able to build the cemetery? Or does the cemetery just become available? I'm assuming I need the workshop then. We don't... How much steel do we have? We have five steel. Um... Hmm... Let's go ahead and get the workshop going, all right? I'll throw the workshop right there, and we'll go ahead and start that. Uh, we got 32 homeless people now. Secure a raw food supply, build a hunter's hut. Well, we did that. Uh, build a cookhouse. I got to build that, too. Don't have enough currently for the cookhouse, but I guess eventually we will. Actually, we do. 20 wood. All right. We're fine. There you go. Now we can start getting some food going in here. People won't starve to death. <laughs> Their hope will rise again in, the, in whatever the name of the city is. <laughs> I don't even know what this city is. Let's see. We need at least one worker for the hunter's hut. Let's go ahead and assign one. There you go. He's uh he's only bringing back one meat per day. Let's assign f like three people. All right. So now we're functioning. 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 <laughs> That's all I can say. It's not it's not the most effective thing in the world. How are we looking on coal supplies? We're 259. I think we're okay for now. I'm concerned that now that we we won't have enough workers out here to get this stuff now. That's my thing. I mean, I could bring this down to seven, possibly. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue... Oh, see, this is going to bring in more people. Build a beacon. Scout Frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You need a workshop to design plans for more... I Yeah, I just did that. I just did that. Yeah. See that? I did that. I did things. I Before the game even told me to do it, I did it. Look at me. <laughs> but I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.